What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Southern Pacific 4449, and this is for the Daylight Train, and it is commissioned by MangoFan82, which is right here for the video. So yeah, this is a famous steam locomotive in America, and it's the GS4. Uh, it is running on oil instead of coal, and Daylight's just saying random stuff. <laughs> okay, so... This, these are like two tenders. We have the water tender, and this is like the regular tender with the oil in this oil bunker, I guess. And yeah, this is uh, pretty much what it looks like. And yeah, let's get started on this build. So first thing we're gonna do is take out our orange. Where's this orange concrete? Go to the tracks, three blocks on top directly, and then add acacia wood stairs in front of it, three of them like that. Then we're going to go to the sides and add acacia wood slab like this. Then on top, acacia wood stairs. Then after that, uh, take our orange concrete and make this L shape like that, which is uh, three blocks long. And uh, once we do that, let's add acacia wood stairs in the middle facing forward. And then after that is orange concrete block. And this will be like uh, 26 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, let's do the other side. And this stripe, it does narrow down as we get to the back. Which you can see this is kind of thick in this part. Uh, so uh, let's add that, I guess. Uh, I don't know how long this is, so I would estimate it to be like, let's say 10 blocks for now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so I was off by 1, so it is 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so once we do that, let's add a uh, black... Huh? not black concrete, black wool, three blocks in here. Then uh, in the back of that, we want to take gray concrete. And this section, it will be 27 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 23, 24, 25, 24, 25 26, 27. And after we do that, let's go back to the front. Um, what else are we gonna add here? Uh, we're gonna add a three by three right here. I think that's, yeah, that is three by three. Just extend these sides. And that's just because we wanna place the wheels in here. So there is gonna be the leading wheel, which is represented by this hopper. Then we wanna take stone brick slab, add two of them like this followed by another hopper and after we do that we need to have these giant wheels so there's gonna be a uh, gray wool I'll only make the bottom part though just to make it lo a lot more easier so that's what the wheel looks like and then skip a block of space another T and there will be let's see there's like four of these driving wheels on this side so one two three Four. Go to the other side. Pretty much do the same thing. All right, and then we're gonna have stone brick stairs in the bottom corners to make it look like more like wheels. And originally, I was trying to see if I could use smaller wheels in this, but I don't think it's it looks good because uh, this train is actually pretty long so you need something to fill up the space so I guess the wheels should be this big and even then even if, even though it's this big we need to have a block of space between them alright so after we do that let's take our uh, black wool add it at the back wheel in the middle just have three blocks across and just pretty much uh, go all the way to the front, maybe like right here. So just fill in all this. 
Oh, the boiler. And I think I missed... Never mind. That's just a hole. Okay, so after we finish that part, let's add a little bit of detail in the front. We're going to have an iron bars <laughs> like this on each side, the uh, iron trap door on top. So there's a lot of iron going on. Cool, just make it go across. And then the next layer, uh, stone brick slab like this, three blocks across. And then we'll have this, uh, what is this, polished andesite is a cross and we'll have that hovering above like this so that's our nice cross let's add stone brick uh, stairs in the corners polish andesite in the center sticking out like this bottom <laughs> below it a stone brick stairs like so and now let's add the two lights in the front I think it's pretty iconic for the daylight and then we'll add this part so there is some of these GS4s they like totally black in this part but I think it does look better when you use gray instead so that's gonna be four blocks long so one two three four and just I just pretty much made it a, like a box not that cylindery more boxy on this one all right, so next let's go to the front. Let's add a little bit of detail. Uh, let's take some nether brick slab, add one in the middle right here. Uh, nether brick stairs like this facing forward, and then nether brick stairs again, two of them after it, so like this, kind of facing inwards like so, and there will be like a little chimney here, so let's add that. Just a black wall with uh, nether brick stairs uh, facing the back of it. All right, so then we're gonna have this section on top. I do not, honestly, I do not know how long this is, so I'm just gonna estimate it. Let's say it's a uh, 15 blocks, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and just uh, fill in this whole top layer in completely just going through then we have to add a layer on the bottom of it like this another layer on this side which is like the same layer and then a black wool block right here and a black wool block right here then we're gonna have this part which is the red stripe I'm going to use red concrete for that. Just extend it until we reach the back, like that. Both sides. Alright, and then we're going to take out our sign. Add that right here. I think this could be the number plate. Which is, this is the 4449. And then let's add a little bit of detail with this stone buttons. Just add two of them right here. Two of them right here. And then let's take out our black carpet, add that one on top of this orange, because this is like a walkway, it's not orange on top. So yeah, we're gonna go extend it to reach the back of what we have the boiler so far. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Alright, so next we'll end up with this part right here. So it's acacia wood slab and it sort of looks like this part's supposed to be red though. <laughs> it's not orange. Uh, so yeah, that section is like five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, actually four blocks long. Cancel that four blocks. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's extend the spoiler again to reach this part. Black wool part as well. Alright, so after we do, do that, 
let's go inside the spoiler part and let's fill in this little bit with black wool on the inside because we do want to make a little bit of uh, some holes on this part so we're gonna actually add the stone buns first just start from right here and place it on every other block it's a bit hard to see because it's black wool but you can do it I believe in you like that like I can't even see the lines dividing these blocks it's pretty hard alright so after we do that we're gonna go to the third to the back go to the middle bam make a hole skip a block bam another hole then we're gonna take out a wooden fence gate just place one facing forward open it up and then another one horizontally like this alright so after we do that uh, we're gonna start to work on the cab which is five blocks long so let's extend this by five one two three four five just the roof part then we're gonna have uh, nether brick stairs on the sides like so okay then we're gonna have to add black wool in the corners so like this then we're gonna continue the red stripes so get our red concrete fill that in like so then we're gonna remove one right here for the doorway so take out our iron door place it right there go to the other side do the same thing then we're gonna take out gray stained glass block fill this in like that alright so after we do that we're gonna take out uh, what is this gray concrete block and add three blocks under here then after that let's add the little banner right here which I think is a door banner so this is what the banner looks like and to make it we're gonna use a gray banner have an ink sack border then we're gonna take that banner and add rose red 2 by 3 at the bottom so uh, this is what we should end up with and we're just gonna place that right here and wow look it looks invisible in my hand so we have two of them that's cool and we should probably work on the smoke box so uh, this smoke box section it's good it's gonna extend wait a minute is this like seven blocks I think so one two three four five six seven seven right there extend this so it's like three blocks wide and I wonder if I did that right uh, we're gonna add a three by three of black wool behind the smoke box like that which is good and then connect this part together since this is not a coal steam engine you don't need to connect the cab together <laughs> to get the coal from here because there is no coal it's oil so we're going to connect this part together with the orange concrete then red concrete and then a black wool like this and I, I left some windows for the door I mean <laughs> I left some glass for the windows in the back like this alright so after we do that we're gonna go down here let's add the ladder right below the door it's just uh, another brick stairs two of them under here then another brick slab cool do the same thing on the side then we're gonna take out a gray concrete block and go over to this wheel skip a block and start to add it to the sides of this same thing on the other side uh, then we're gonna have to add the little wheels down here so <laughs> to make that let's get a hopper and place that right there I believe skip a block another hopper and do this on both sides then we're gonna take uh, stone brick slab add that between the hoppers it's all nicely connected 
And then this part right here, let's fill that in with another brick slab, three blocks wide. All right, cool. And then this section right here, it's uh, three blocks long of nether brick fence right next to the stairs on this layer. All right. So yeah, um, let's see what else we can add to the front section. All right, we need to add the rods. So that is very important. Uh, so let's start with the cylinder. We're gonna have two black wool blocks like that. Then we're gonna have uh, three stone brick slabs like this, and then two at the back ones. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Two like that. Three, and then two, and then... Let's see what else we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna extend the second layer all the way to the second wheel. Like the middle of the second wheel. Same thing on this side. Then the next layer, uh, we're going to go extend from the middle of the first wheel to the middle of the last wheel. So the first to the last. Cool. Going to extend that all. And if I were to animate steam engines in Minecraft, I don't know if I can actually do that or not. I feel like it will be really, really complicated. Alright, so we got our... Uh, our side rods so I don't know I think that's it for the first part of this locomotive now we have to make the tender and this is a water tender but I think I will leave that for uh, part two of this video so you can check that out I'll leave probably a link in this for part two in the description